Hey everyone! I'm bringing to you a new little mini series called the Monday Move. So every Monday I'm going to bring to you a new exercise that you can do at home, at the gym, or wherever you'd like. And what I want to do with this is I want to show you proper form so you get the best result out of your exercises. I'll also talk to you about the muscle group we're working as well as the benefits of why you want to work that muscle. So let's get to it. So your first exercise is called a rear shoulder fly. So talking about the shoulder for a minute, you have the anterior deltoid here, the lateral deltoid, and the posterior deltoid. So doing a rear shoulder fly will target the posterior, the back of the shoulder. And then these three muscles together, they make up the shoulder, they make up the roundness of the shoulder. So starting with your feet hip distance apart, I'll just turn to the side just so you can see it a bit better. Hip distance apart, knees slightly bent, and hinging at the hips, keeping the back flat, the tummy pulled in. Extending the arms out, palms facing each other, keeping the shoulder down and away from the head and pulled back. This is your starting position. So using the posterior deltoid, you're going to raise the arms up and lower them down, slow and controlled. Fly the arms up. So yes, you are flying. You want long, beautiful wings. I've seen some people do incorrect form with little chicken wings. And unfortunately, little chicken wings are not going to get you very far. And in fact, little chicken wings like this, you're going to start engaging the back muscles more to lift the arms. You want to focus on the posterior delt. So long, beautiful wings, slow and controlled. I'll show you what it looks like with dumbbells. I suggest no more than three to five pounds to start because it is a smaller muscle group. So starting position, my tummy's pulled in, my back's flat, looking straight out ahead of me, and raising the arms up and down. So there you have it. Try 12 to 15 reps, maybe three to four sets and hit the back of the shoulder with that exercise. So as I said before, it makes up the roundness of the shoulder. So for aesthetic purposes, when you have round shoulders, it pulls the waist in. So you look like you have the appearance of a smaller waist. As well, when you work the back of your shoulders, you're able to pull your shoulders back better for better posture. So give it a try and let me know how it goes.